Hello everybody, this is an upper body and core workout using a stability ball and a set of dumbbells. My dumbbells weigh 12 pounds, make sure you use a weight that's challenging for you. Welcome to Short Circuits, make sure you warm up. Here's a playlist of warm ups for you to choose from. If you want to see the complete workout with a warm up and a cool down, you'll need to click that join button below to sign up for my premium membership. Are you guys ready? Let's get sweaty. The first exercise in the workout is stability ball push-ups. We're going to start with the hands towards the top of the ball, but kind of on the side. Fingertips are pointed towards the floor. That's going to be the most comfortable position for you, the, the most biomechanically correct position. And then we're going to be doing this from the toes. You're going to want to make sure that the shoulders are away from the ears. You can take the feet a little bit wider for stability. Squeeze the glutes. And you're going to just drop your chest down and up. And we're doing 10 of these. Here we go. Down and push all the way back up. One. Two. It's normal for the ball to wobble. Three. Squeeze those glutes tight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> eight nine and ten and then next up we're going to do some work on the core we're just going to do some crunches so you're going to be trying to line up the axis of the ball with your belly button and i'm going to just take my hands behind my ears you want to have a nice extension and then you're just going to crunch up about two-thirds of the way up and then back down. And we're going to do 10 of these, so let's, let's do this. Here we go. Lift up. One. And down. Nice stretch. Two. Three. I feel these right away. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And stretch. Okay, you're gonna pick up your dumbbells next. We're gonna do some chest flies. So, it's a little bit tricky when you're holding your dumbbells and you're trying not to let your ball roll away. So, you're gonna sit on the ball and then roll out so that you're neck, shoulders and upper back are supported and then you're just going to take those dumbbells overhead in line with your shoulders and the elbows are a little bit soft. You're really bridging tight here, okay guys? So you are engaging your core through those glutes and then you're going to just open up wide and back in. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. There we go. Open up like a butterfly and close. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, keep lifting those hips. Eight, nine, and ten. Roll back up. You can put your weights down. We're going to do another exercise for the core. We're going to put one shin on the ball and we're going to put the hands down and walk out a little bit. And other foot comes back, comes up, and we're going to do some crunches here, just 10 crunches, bringing those knees in and out, and glutes are really tight, okay guys? And your shoulders are right over the heels of your hands, so here we go. Roll it in, and out, one, strong, strong, two, eyes are looking down, three, Four, the legs are fully engaged. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then you dismount and you're going to pick up your dumbbells again. We're going to be doing a little bit of work on the lats. So you're going to grab the dumbbells. Same thing again. Kind of corral your ball and then roll out. We're going to be doing an exercise called pull called pullovers. You're going to take those dumbbells up, put them together. Elbows are a little bit soft again. And it looks like this. You're going to stretch back, keeping the hips up. They're not moving. And then bring the dumbbells back to the start position, okay? So we're going to take these dumbbells overhead, starting now for 10 reps. Reach back and up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that one is a great move if you don't have access to a lat pull down uh, machine, like a cable machine. That one is a really great substitute. We're gonna work on the obliques again. We're gonna come down, and this might be a little awkward, but we're gonna kind of wrap those feet around the ball, and then support yourself, your, your neck and your head, on your underneath arm. And those toes are pointed forward. Everything is in alignment. I feel like I'm not in alignment though, so just adjust if you need to before you start. And we're going to do some side leg lifts, so really working on these muscles here. Everything's super tight. We're going to do 10 lifts and lowers, okay? Ready? Here we go. Lift and lower. One, two, three, four, it's not a big movement, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So yeah, I can really feel that working in places that I don't normally work. So same thing. Probably easiest if we just wrap the feet here and then turn onto the side. Support your head and neck. Toes are pointed forward. And then think about your alignment. Everything in one long line. And you have your hand in front just for a little bit of balance and stability. And here we go. We're going to lift up. One. And down. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. My range of motion is a lot less here. Eight, nine, and ten. So you're finding potentially um, imbalances in strength. Um, one side to the other and that's okay it's normal that we just want to be aware of it and make sure that we always work each side um, and don't let one side compensate for the other okay so um, next up we're gonna do some work on the back of the shoulders we're gonna do some rows and we're gonna do them one side at a time so what I'm actually gonna do for me is double up on the weight. So I'm going to cross one weight on top of the other. If 12 pounds is enough for you, then just leave it where it is. But um, I need a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the weights. 
and I'm going to use the ball like a bench for this one. So I'm going to roll it a little bit to the side and the leg that's closest to the ball is going to be in front and the other leg is behind. I'm in a lunge position and I'm going to hip hinge a little bit more. I'm just supporting myself with that ball is slightly in front and a flat back, abs engaged and I'm going to draw that elbow up and down, okay? And we're gonna do 10 of these. Here we go. Row and down one, two. I'm doing a little bit of a rotation. Three, four just for bigger range of motion. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and you put your weights down. We're gonna reset on the other side. So, I'm gonna readjust those weights. And readjust the ball. Lift the weights up. It's a little bit awkward with them crossed. I will admit it would have been easier if I just picked up a heavier dumbbell, but I said I was using 12 pound dumbbells, so I'm gonna stick with them just for you guys. And then we want to make sure that that leg that's closest to the ball is in front. Give ourselves a little bit of room to work. And you're leaning into it, hip hinging slightly. And here we go. Row up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and put those weights down. And we're gonna do one more core exercise to finish off this circuit. We're gonna take that ball between the legs, okay? So knees are gonna be slightly bent. We're gonna do reverse crunches, and uh, we're gonna try to lift that tailbone off the floor a little bit when we bring those legs in, okay? And then just control it on the way down. You're gonna feel this a lot in your inner thighs as well, obviously, because they are working hard to keep that ball where it is, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of these. Ready, set, and go. Roll it in, one. Lower down slowly with control, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, adjust if you need to, eight. nine, and last one, 10. Lower down, and we are done the workout, and we are gonna cool it down and stretch it out. You can put your dumbbells away and you can put your ball away, you're not gonna need them. Thank you so much for choosing Short Circuits and for getting sweaty with me today. If you enjoyed the workout, please like it and share it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Workouts are posted once a week. It's just gonna be a workout. So if you wanna see a complete circuit with a warm up, the workout, the cool down, all you need to do is sign up for my premium membership by clicking the join button below. And guys, I love hearing from you, so please send me in your comments. Let me know what you think about the workouts what kind of workouts you want to see, and if you have any questions, I am more than happy to answer them. Until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.